ready.
Joe sure put us through a whole lot of trouble. What? When did he disappear? Huh? Huh? Nice try. But things like that will get you killed, brother. Bendero. I was curious. I had to see the latest Harmonizer model for myself. Shut up! What a waste to give it to someone like you. Huh. <laughs> There are far too many modified humans in this world for my taste. said anything about killing them. Change of plans. On whose authority? Yours? Eisenberg's plan was to keep them distracted while he started up the frontier system. The warming would bring about the end of the acred and transform this into a green paradise. Then when they saw the result, they would come to see the light. The only green fields you'll be seeing are the Elysian variety. What? Seeing as how nothing will be left alive on this rock once the frontier system is set into motion. All this talk of heating the planet is only after all life has been exterminated. That can't be. Now. Harbingers of a new tomorrow. A message for us officers. I'll let you listen to this one. For 150 years, colonists have endured the unpredictable conditions of this planet. Endless battles against the mysterious Acrid. The Separatists, who have formed the Snow Pirates and dog our every step with constant violence. But now, the Frontier System will deliver us from our tormentors. Clean energy will set it into motion and rid us of the Acrid and other unpleasant elements plaguing this world. The Acrid Eradication will also provide a release of thermal energy that will serve to heat the atmosphere. <laughs> unpleasant elements. That must sting. While the system is running, we ask that you proceed to the orbital elevator and initiate the hibernation process. The facility there will protect you from the energy output by the system. Once the world has been terraformed, you will be the first to witness the verdant utopia that looks awaits. good. Well, Rick. Hmm. It looks like it'll do. Well, I'll make it do. In the end, this third of the colonial planets will be transformed into a paradise, welcoming colonists from our polluted home planet with open arms. The valuable resources lying untapped, hidden under layers of ice, will not only bring prosperity to Nevik, but to the human race. We are the pioneers exploring the wonders of this brave new world. Hey, you better be listening to this. It's time to proceed to the orbital elevator. Enjoy a pleasant rest. We will soon meet again, brave pioneers. Heard enough? We are near the time of our parting. Trap. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. is probably related to this. What? Basil filled me in. Thank you. I can understand you being upset. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. But you were betrayed too. And 
I'm sorry you had to feel what we felt. Anyway, more than having trouble with forgiving you for dragging Wayne into that trap, I'm having trouble understanding why you did it. Anyway, it's all water under the bridge now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll make it up to you somehow. I see. So that's what was going on. You believe me? Of course. Why wouldn't I? I could hardly believe it myself when I first heard it. Well, it's hard to swallow, but I trust you. Oh. Commander! What? We still have time. I'll guide you to the orbital elevator. Luca, can I have a moment with Joe? It's all right. What's with the serious face? I never knew that the Frontier system would eradicate all life on the planet when it was put into motion. I really only wanted to rid this world of the acred. Trust me. I believe you. You do? Now, how do we reach the elevator? Oh, yeah. There's a shortcut. It's the quickest route, but it'll take us straight through an acrid hive. I know how the acrid behave. I can guide us so that we avoid as many of them as possible. We're counting on you. First things first. Let's get through the hive. Once we're through, we can worry about the rest of the journey. Okay.